Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just getting my desktop set up, making sure I have my notes ready to go. So, again, my name is Rich, Rich Rosenblum. I am a fitness professional. I've had a long journey in the strength and conditioning, personal training field, over 10 years' experience working with the Army, doing personal training. I've been all over, I'm mostly in the management and strength and conditioning space. But the last few months, I've been on a career change and I'm going all in for nursing. I am I I I'm committed my time and energy, my focus onto switching to nursing school. 34 years old, this is going to be it. I am I'm 100% committed. So, previous video I talked about my journey, what I was going through. This I've started my journey. I want to talk to you about what I'm doing. My online classes I'm taking, the school I plan on going to. So you can see my hair is growing out a little bit because as of right now, I'm spending most of my time in the copy library studying, trying to pass my prerequisites. So I've been talking to different universities about their accelerated nursing programs, and I've narrowed it down to a couple in the Boston area and one in the New Jersey area. I live in Boston now, so it's the most that makes the most sense. But the two universities that I plan on applying to in uh, Boston are MGH and UMass Boston. Uh, both have hybrid programs. UMass Boston is 12 months, so you can end up, after you pass the NCLEX, within 12 months, which is awesome for my timeline as someone who wants to get back and, 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 and start their, their new career as fast as possible. And there's also a university in, in New Jersey called uh, Thomas Edison, uh, Thomas Edison University, that has a 16-month uh, program as well. Uh, but I'm missing some prerequisites. I need to retake anatomy and physiology 1, 2, and microbio. I've been talking to different universities. A lot of universities accept universities through um, courses through Portage. It's an online learning module. So I've been hustling hard to get these classes done. I I finished and I got a grade of a B in anatomy and physiology one in about three weeks. Four credit class with the lab in three weeks. That was no joke. I wasn't doing anything but eating, working out, going to the library. I was putting in probably 40 to 55 hours a week studying that material. I recently finished Anatomy and Physiology 2, and that took me four weeks to do. I'm currently on Microbio, and that is significantly easier. On Portage, Microbio, the lectures are way shorter. The labs are way shorter. It's actually great that I front-loaded everything, and now I'm on my third course, Microbio, four credits with the lab. Uh, it, that, that you can knock out within three weeks if you if you commit to it. Um, uh, but I'm not working full time right now, so I can commit to this time. I'm I'm taking my time between New Jersey, where my parents live, and in Boston, where where I live. Uh, but a couple of study tips that I want to share with you guys for Portage. Uh, one, copy and paste the modules into Microsoft Word, so then you can study. And you can turn off your, your internet so you're not, you don't get distracted and you can you know make your own highlights and your notes that way. So I, I really do recommend that. Uh, two, anatomy and physiology is a lot of info. I mean, if, if you're in the health science field, you know that A&P is, is no joke. So you can do some of the traditional approaches by taking note cards and, you know, you know reading, reading the material out loud. Uh, but I came up with a couple others that, that helped me out. Uh, one, I tried to interact with the material more. You know, if you're talking about the cranial nerves, try to actually, like, you know, point to where those cranial nerves are, or the spinal nerves, actually try to point to where the spinal nerves are. Um, I used um, a lot of some tech to help me with my studying. So if I I'm having trouble focusing. I'll use the Microsoft Word read out loud function, which I thought was nice. So sometimes I, I learn more efficiently 
if the material is being read out loud versus me just repeating it over and over and over again. So that's really nice with the Microsoft, with Microsoft Word. And two, because I was spending so much time studying and using my hands and you know all this fine motor coordination, I was starting to get carpal tunnel issues. And now I know from anatomy and physiology that's an issue with the, the median nerve that's being crushed through a lot of your, 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 your motions or inflammation. So that median nerve will affect the first three and a half fingers so uh, up to up to about here and it will feel pain you'll feel a decreased sensation and it can it, if it gets worse affect your strength so I, I had to use some braces uh, I've been massaging I'm trying to take recovery time it sucks but um, using uh, Microsoft Word's read out loud function and also Apple's uh, text um, speech to text function is actually pretty effective too. Probably about 70% of the time, whatever you speak, your computer will actually type out. And so I, I've liked that. That helps me use my hands less. So those are a couple study tips. Uh, anatomy and physiology is difficult. You got to put some serious time into it. Microbiology is easier. My timeline is I got to knock out these cl these classes and then take the T's and then apply to UMass and MGH and Thomas Edison by uh, May 1st. So I, I'm, I'm well on that goal. I think I can get there. If I get into those universities, school would most likely start September 1st. So I have a bit of time to play with. After I get done with these courses, I got to get back in and like just bang out a job for as, 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 as long as I can before school starts again because accelerated programs are no joke. Uh, everyone I've talked to and all the advisors I've, I've talked to said you won't be able to work full time. So I got to make that commitment. I got to make that commitment. Uh, a couple other things. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a scary time because, you know, I'm I've been doing fitness for over 10 years and uh, I'm changing in my career completely. Uh, I hope to get my first new job when I'm before I'm 36. And I'm going to be, you know, coming in as a nurse, probably one of like the, the older nurses that have zero experience. So that's a little nerve wracking. I'm also nervous even if I get through the accelerated program past the NCLEX, am I going to be able to find a job at a, in a decent amount of time? How long is it going to take me to do that? You know, what's the starting salary going to be like? I live in Boston, but entry level nurse, I'm not really sure. I've been looking for data. Uh, I haven't found a lot for entry level nursing that has zero experience, zero experience in the medical field. I've worked with physical therapists. I've worked with some post-op patients, but I've never worked in a hospital before. So I'm a little worried about that. Also worried that my, my quality of life, right? I'm living in Boston, and I'm not going to be working for a year, probably more than a year. So I've got to figure out my finances, making sure that, you know, my sa I'm, I'm not spending out of my savings too much probably have to take out a loan here and there. I'm looking into that, low interest educational loans. So a lot of those things are, are going to come into play. Um, I mean, I don't have kids now, so that's nice. So I don't have to worry about a whole lot of like uh, expenses. Just just live, just ability to live and, and, and be healthy. Be, you know, just, just try to do that. But uh, any thoughts, any concerns? I want to hear your stories too. Are there any other fitness professionals out there, you know, that are that have had significant experience in the field and switched over to nursing? I want to hear about your path. I'm really curious to learn from others. Um, yeah, please hit me up. Thanks, y'all.